Okay, let's talk about how to calculate wind loads on a stack or a chimney. Uh, first, we're going to go to structure type, and then we will select the chimney option, and then save. And then we need to pick a MWFRS method that's appropriate. The chimneys fall under chapter 29. That's the only green option, so we'll pick that. And then we need to determine whether it's rigid or flexible. The rigid structure is anything uh, with a natural frequency of one hertz or greater. Flexible is anything less than one hertz. Um, y ideally, you would model your stack or chimney in some kind of a structural analysis package to give you an accurate natural frequency. If you don't have that, there's a uh, if you entered it, if you did it outside of here, you would select the manually entered natural frequency option. You would enter that value here. Uh, we're going to use a rule of thumb. And in our case, it's we're going to use a 100 foot tall chimney, three foot in diameter, quarter inch thick. Um, we'll take the defaults, and it comes up with a natural frequency of nine point. I'm sorry, 0 0.983 hertz. This is a very simplistic uh, calculator, but it's better than nothing. Okay, the damping for a stack is usually much lower. We will say it is 0. Uh, 002, which is a typical value for an undamped stack. Now we click the chimney option, and to add uh, entries to this, you click the plus sign, and then you start at the top, and you work your way down. So if we will start at 100, and we'll go down to zero. It's three foot diameter. It's round, moderately smooth, and we'll leave this as zero for now and you see a graphical representation of what we've entered. If, for example, this, uh, this stack was supported on top of a heater and the heater was 50 feet tall, you would enter your bottom elevation as 50 and then you would just, that's as far as you would go. That would account for your uh, KZ, K sub Z for the uh, exposure uh, coefficient uh, for it being 50 feet off the ground up to 100. Uh, we're going to go back to zero, and then we will perform an analysis. Okay, and here we see our our element from 100 to zero, three foot, OD, um, moderately smooth. We get the total area, which is three times 100, so it's 300 square feet. Uh, our shape factor is calculated to be 0.7. And so then we get the total force, which was 12,790. Total moment is 639,000 foot-pounds. Okay, so for a taller structure, you typically wouldn't use one KZ and QZ for the entire structure. You'd want to break it up into elements so that you get a little better load. So um, we're just under 13,000, and we're at about uh, roughly 640,000. So the way you can break it up easily you could you could go in here and add elements you could say um, you know 100 to, to 90 is 3 feet from 90 to 80 is 3 feet and just enter multiple elements but there's an easier way um, if you go back to your general tab and then we want to go to the advanced options and then general elevation um, so it's going to default to the mean, uh, mean roof height which in this case is just our stack or chimney height but we want to instead say that we want to automatically increment elevations every 10 feet. You could, if you had a need, you could make it anything you wanted. You know, you could add, um, you could you could add uh, elements that you know a, odd elevations if that suited your needs for some reason. But in our case, every 10 feet will be fine. And we go back to the chimney perform an analysis and you'll see that it automatically broke it up in 10 foot segments. Okay, and so our QZ uh, starts at 29.75 and goes all the way down to 17.3, which is a pr pretty significant decrease. Uh, our total shear is now 10,472 pounds and our moment is 573. Uh, 573,000. I think that was six 
140,000 before, and I think this was almost 13. So it's a, a fairly significant reduction in the calculated wind load.